excited to be here because I get to present an award to someone who's very, very special to me, who is um, a mentor, who is a, um, a brother, um, my fashion fairy god brother. Um, I'm so grateful to have the one and only Law Roach in my life. Um, <laughs> I met Law when I was 14 years old. He wasn't a stylist at this time. He was personal shopping for a friend of ours, a mutual friend of ours, and I was 14. And up until then, I was styling myself at Target and uh, and making what I could happen. But I had, I really, really did love fashion. And he he walked out with this gorgeous YSL bag, and 14 year old me said, "Is that YSL?" He goes, "But of course." And. Um, the love started there, <laughs> and we literally, you know, from there we were inseparable. Um, he he dressed me that first day, and I we always kind of look back on it because we're like that. We, I was so nervous to wear it. I was wearing like a shiny skirt, like I was like, oh my gosh, so risky, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, and and <laughs> little did I know what was about to happen to my life. Um, but you know, you are an absolute visionary. You have taught me um, so much about myself. You taught me to be more confident and to not give a F <laughs> about what people think, to allow myself to um, be proud of who I am when I step outside, when I look in the mirror. You always remind me if I ever get nervous about my hair, my makeup, whatever it is, you say, but do you really care what they think though? And I would say, nope, and then we go. <laughs> and I'm so, so grateful for um, the lessons you've taught me, you've taught me about fashion history, you're a fashion historian, you've um, constantly reminded me and taught me of our culture and where we come from and you all have um, inspired me to be fearless with the roads that you continue to pave. Um, I think that there are so many young black boys that need you and it is so impressive what you've done with your career um, and every win that you win is a win for me and I'm lucky to be by your side and to be your creative partner in everything and I hope that we can continue to work together because you are an absolute force and you deserve the recognition for what you're doing to push the culture forward and to always remind everyone to be fearless in their art um, and reminding me to always be fearless in my art. I, I'm, I'm very thankful for you. So please come up on up here and see this and see this Just lift your hand up and, and clench your fist, right? 
And so inside of your Klitsch Fest, you hold the opportunity for somebody else. You hold the, the, the power to give someone an opportunity to change their life. And if you are a person of power or privilege, I beg you to give that opportunity to someone who does not look like you. And, 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 you, and that's, the, that's how it becomes another me and, and another a dear and, and another, you know, just great person. like me who are joining the fight to make sure that we have a seat at the table and not only our seat but let's keep a seat open for everybody else who looks like us. I want to accept this award for other stars. I want to accept it for Mike and Wayman and Jason Rambert and Ade and Brian Jabbar and all the people you have heard of and that you haven't heard of yet that is literally waking up every day and fighting for us brown and black people to have a, a space here at these type of awards and thank you in style and I hope I didn't talk too much and yeah. <laughs>